I heard that the terms are agreed with Lenatis. How true is this? Is this fight definitely going to happen? We need to know right away. Yeah, I see a lot of reports saying May 15th, all done, all signed. That's not true. I mean, what is true is that we have agreed uh, the number with Robert Diaz and Golden Boys taking a long time. And now we're putting that on paper. May 15th is a working date. It will be somewhere around that date. Um, there was a bit of a roadblock with uh, Lomachenko because obviously these two started having beef on Twitter. Bill Haney phoned me up and said, look, can we get Lomachenko? So I reached out. Um, I was actually talking to um, Lomachenko's manager, um, Igis Klim of that. It's a fight we can make to look after Linares as well. For me, I like the Linares fight. I think that you know, with everything going on with Bob, Bob's already made it clear in interviews that he wouldn't let Lomachenko fight Haney over on the zone. And, you know, he'll wait for Haney to leave the zone and all this kind of stuff that we haven't really got time for. We just want to make fights. We just want to progress the career of Devin Haney. And I really feel that Jorge Linares is that guy that gives him... There was news that came out last week that Linares, he told Devin Haney, you lying. Uh, Devin never sent me a contract. Uh, he was in denial, but now all of a sudden, there's news that he agreed to the fight and he signed to fight Devin. So what happened there when well, Linares was denying the fact there was a contract sent? As far as I know, that it's a, it's a deal that, that they've agreed to in principle, but I don't think he's signed. He, he hasn't signed anything and Devin hasn't signed anything, but it's a deal on the table in principle. I'm confident and more than sure that the Lomachenko fight between Lomachenko and Devin, could that be agreed to? That fight will take precedence over over uh, over uh, Linares. Yes, sir. Now, what will it take to get Lomachenko to sign? That's the million dollar question. What do you think? I don't think. I'm just waiting. Well, we're waiting with you, Bill. Now, how do you feel about Coppinger? He announced the Linares fight with Devin Haney, but he gave him a backhand compliment, claiming that Linares has been stopped before then try to justify why Lomachenko is ducking Devin, right? Now, mind you, Linares is coming off a knockout victory. He coming well, off Linares, victories Linares back to back. More, and, Linares in, yeah. the last, in the last 18 fights prior to his loss, right? They want to go back to five fights, and they want to talk about the loss to Lomachenko, and then they want to talk about the loss where he stepped up in weight. But prior to that, he hadn't lost a fight in like 18 fights, right? So – he had 18 fights more than Lomachenko has had. He has 18 fights more than Tiafimo Lopez has had, right? And with the two losses. Lomachenko also has two losses within the last whatever amount of time. So, I mean, you know, let's not do the comparison, right? Linares is a hell of a fighter. He's been a hell of a fighter. Lomachenko was a hell of a fighter. Tiafimo Lopez is a hell of a fighter. It's just something special about Dev. And we want to put him on the stage, get him on that stage, and, and show him. It's time to show. Ain't no time to be pointing and saying who ain't what and who ain't. You won't get that here from me. Only time that you will ever hear me talking about a position is when they try to undermine what the position that Devin is in to talk about somebody that's under him, right? Somebody that's lesser ranked or somebody that doesn't have a belt. Then I have to substantiate it by, by comparing Devin's resume to the person that you're trying to, to say that's just more qualified, right? The rubber has met the road. They, they've got a chance to build that four-belt championship on ESPN. Uh, what a great job ESPN did. What a great job Top Rank did. You know what I mean? But that's over with. You got champions that have been undisputed, truly undisputed, like the Usex of the world, the Terrence Crawfords of the world, right? But that happens, that does not mean that you do continue to make those big fights happen. A big fight for Devin and Teo is inevitable, right? So to say what he has accomplished before means shit to us. Come do it to us. That's what we're saying. Everyone wants to throw these obstacles and these roadblocks that we're going to look the other direction. We're going to turn away from Lomachenko, start looking at Nakatani or looking at Richard Comey. Or that's, a, that's, a, that, that's really slick of the people to do, but we've been in this business for quite some time and we've been bosses in it. You see what I'm saying? We're staying focused. We're looking at the top of the food chain, where we belong, where we are at, where we're the position we're in. You see what I'm saying? So let's make it happen. That's right. Well said, Bill. The point I was trying to bring up is that Coppinger, he a reporter. He reports breaking news and stuff. I didn't hear him say when he announced uh, Canelo versus Avini that Avini was coming off a loss. 
but he's gonna bring up Linares lost a couple fights ago, which or makes Yildrum. no sense at all. Yildrum. Or Yildrum. Yildrum. Or Yildrum. Yildrum was yeah, and Yildrum was off for two years, and no one ever no one ever talked about that, right? No one ever talked about him. No one ever talked about the fact that he got 2.5 million to come in there and do what he did. You know what I'm saying? All these fighters need to get paid, they deserve to get paid. You see what I'm saying? This is a sport that for a very long time, for too long, right? Fighters have been grossly underpaid. They've sacrificed their lives. They sacrifice, you know, time with their families and everything. You know what I mean? For, for chump change. It's about time that the fighters get paid for what they do. They sacrifice their lives for the amusement of the fans. And that's just the way the sport is. It's the sport that they chose and they should get paid. And that's why reporters got to do their job and bring up the facts that Linares was avoided by Ryan. Ryan didn't want to fight Linares and Linares right. dropped Lomachenko. And that's what we should talk about instead of going back a few fights ago to discredit Linares in order to discredit Devin Haney opponent that's willing to step up to the table. Linares willing to step up to the table. I don't see Lomachenko stepping up to the table. So that's all I'm saying. Now, Bob did say that he likes the Devin Haney fight for Lomachenko, just not now. And it could come to fruition after uh, Devin Haney contract is up with the zone. Uh, he's not talking about now. He's talking about later. But what's your thoughts on Bob Aram comments? Well, that's not the way. That, that's not the way that we do business. That's not the way that we learn to do businesses. We go into go into it with a partner, and we go into it to deliver. Right? We signed up for the, the amount of fights that we signed up for, and we're not through until we're through. So we don't want to discuss any kind of options or plans while in the agreement with Eddie. And uh, and as far as we've known, it's been a great partnership. Right? But it's about delivering you know, and delivering the biggest and best fights and being available for the biggest and the best fights to happen. The fights that the people are clamoring for, you know, they want that Lomachenko fight. They want the Lomachenko and Devin fight. Now uh, the Lomachenko team in Brazil has answered. He's answered to the bell, but we have yet to hear any, any other response from it. So until then, I respectfully reserve the right to, you know, him answering the bell and it being a fight with Lomachenko. But of course, make no mistake about it is though, we don't look at any of the opponents, whether it be Tiffimo Lopez, whether it be Ryan Garcia, whether it be Javier Fortuna, none of the opponents. We don't take anyone lightly, right? At this point in time, who we're picking. It's the people, it's the fighters that's available, it's the network, you know what I mean? Because we'll take all of them. We'll fight anybody right now. Devin is, is at a point where, you know what I'm saying, he's like, he's on another level right now, bro. We're not playing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Next time that you see Devin, you're going to see a growth in Devin that is going to be unbelievable, right? We're in camp, right? And I'm watching him every day. We're not taking no prisoners. We don't care who it is. It can be Lomachenko. It can be whoever. You know what I'm saying? It could be Jorge Linares. You know what I mean? Javier Fortuna. It didn't make no difference with me personally. You know, uh, Eddie Hearn uh, was negotiating with Jorge Linares for the fight, right? I, I had a discussion with Javier Fortuna's manager, Samson, after the numerous times that I didn't talk to Samson, right? Samson, he raised his hand and Javier Fortuna raised his hand after uh, Eddie had started negotiating with Jorge Linares. I spoke with him about that, right? He said that the, the Jorge Linares fight was a fight that that not only that he wanted, uh, the zone wanted, um, also the WBC approved of it, right? And then came uh, the talks of Lomachenko and Devin talking. So. I was kind of questioning whether or not Lomachenko was talking because of he had heard the, the talks between Jorge Linares and Devin. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's let's hold up, hold up, Eddie. Go ahead and talk to Bob. Go talk to Bob and let's see can we make this thing happen. And if Lomachenko thinks that Devin is sweet or he push over, come on, uh, Lomachenko, come on, come now. You see what I'm saying? Let's get it now. Let's stop all the bullshit. Let's stop all the talking. I reached out to your manager. He gets clean this several times, several times. I got it on text. You know what I'm saying? So let us know what's happening, man. We're not playing with you guys, man. You see what I'm saying? And we're going to show you who a coward is. We talked to our co-promoter and, and Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn agreed that he was going to, uh, you know, send off an offer that was a respectable offer for the position that Lomachenko was in, right? And if Lomachenko thinks there's something that's sweet about Devin, then come on, get the money and, and take the belt. But I'm, I don't see it that way. Devin is going to punish the shit out of Lomachenko for all the shit that he didn't talk, for all the time that he didn't made us wait. You see what I'm saying? And we ready now. Just like I told him, we ready now for anybody. And more importantly, we ready for Lomachenko right now. Not next, not next fight, not none of that shit. Right now.
So guess what? Eddie did not knock on our door and say, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Lomachenko and said X, Y, Z. Devin did that. And Devin still said, Devin making a ton of money. He can make a ton of money to fight. As you see, he can take a ton of money to fight Lenares. Why is he knocking on Lomachenko door? Why am I on here talking about Lomachenko? Because it's the people. It's the admiration of, of the fans, right? It's the respect of the fans. But what has happened in reverse, in reverse, Devin has respect at, from his peers before he got respect from the fans. Of course, he has fans. That's that's long time family members, friends, and you know we consider Devin's hardcore people as like family. You know what I mean? I always invite people out. You'll see somebody at my house. You'll see us going. We consider them family, right? When I say fans, I mean I mean the other guys' fans. I mean the Tiafimo senior. I mean our Tiafimo junior fans. I'm talking about the Lomachenko fans. I'm talking about die hard ride or dies. The Gary Russell fans, right? These guys, right? We appreciate and we watch how hard you ride for for your fighter right we love that we love that we look to have that same respect and admiration from you guys right for Devin the way that you ride for for the fighters but somehow your fighters tend to respect us more than the fans than the the Loma fans the the Tio Fimo senior um junior fans I get to mix up excuse me for doing that but the, the Tio fans you know what I'm saying so and that's what this thing is all about Right. We started out. We, we came out of Mexico, small room, small places. You get five people, 100 people, you know, 200 people, you know, a thousand people, 2000, you know, 500,000, a million. That's the work that we appreciate, man. We appreciate guys when they come up off the street and say, hey, man, you guys, man, your son is a bad dude, man. You see what I'm saying? Even if he didn't say that yesterday, we appreciate him saying it today. And guess what? Even if he wants to go against us, we still appreciate him. The only thing is that we, we do is say is if you if you don't like him, put him in the ring with the person that you like. Yes, sir. The best versus the best. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. man. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Yo, I shook up the world. Bear witness, there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the bungle fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.